cotton bollworm. He's emerging from his egg case. And um, this little cute little insect here <laughs> is uh, a big problem. It, it attacks cotton all over the world. And 25% of all the insecticides used in the world are used to control this pest. In the United States, we use about 15 insecticides to control this pest. Half of those are known or poss possible carcinogens. So this was a good target for genetic engineering. Now, uh, there, was, there has been a variety that is resistant for this pest, and it was developed through genetic engineering by introducing a protein called Bt that is a favorite of organic farmers. So organic farmers love this protein because it is not toxic to humans. It's not toxic to other animals either. And it's actually very specific for this class of insects. So this has been, um, uh, this is one of the first genetic engineering crops that's been introduced. And it's, it's probably the most widespread. And there's also the most study on this. So we know that in Arizona, farmers were able to achieve the same yield as, uh, same cotton yield as their neighbors who are conventional farmers. However, they use half the amount of insecticides, and in their fields, they have um, dramatically enhanced biodiversity. And that's easy to understand because they're not spraying as many insecticides, so you're going to have um, more diversity of ants and beetles, how, which, which were um, species of these were counted in this particular study. In India, an 80% increase in yield was observed in farmers' fields. And in China, within the first um, year or so, insecticide use fell by 156 million pounds per year. So to give you an idea of how much insecticide is not being sprayed into the environment, that's almost equivalent to all the pesticides that we spray in California every year. And uh, researchers have found that insecticide-related illnesses have dr dropped by 75% on these farms using genetically engineered cotton. So again, you think, well, problem solved. But we can't simply rely on seed. As Raul, I hope, made clear to you, farming practices are, are very important. And we know that in some instances, instances, such as in China, after seven years of growing genetically engineered cotton, other types of pests appeared. And this also is predictable because the farmers quit spraying insecticides, so um, they're getting other pests. So there needs to um, develop other types of methods, um, organic methods, such as um, pheromone control of these other insects. And really, we need an integrated pest management approach to take advantage of these new seeds that are, are being developed. 